dynamic for an extremely short period from 1924 to 1982, ASA, Orpheosynchronic Sociedad Anonima, first made motion picture projectors and afterward moved to being a cruiser producer just in 1949 that was best known for creating lightweight, two-stroke engine bicycles utilized as a part of watch trials, motocross, and enduro. Paying tribute to the brand and the ASA 250 Monocasque GP bike, the people at a Barcelona configuration organization prepared an electric idea bicycle that as indicated by my tastes is the most calming looking thing at any point made on two wheels. It is nearly as though your eyes can simply stream over those bends. It's known as the Monocasco. Albeit both the bicycle and the rider indicated potential, winning for 250cc Grand Prix, disaster struck when Santiago passed on in a crash while he steered the bicycle on the Isle of Man TT in 1970. The creators were disturbed to the point, that after the occurrence, they pulled again from all motorsports movement. After some time, the landing of Japanese bikes made money-related inconveniences, and the Spaniard needed to close shop in 1977. Giving Santiago Herrero a major salute, Arctic Team, a Barcelona-based outline firm have made an electric cruiser idea, Monocasco and depends on the ASA 250 Monocasque. Assembled more to be a cafe racer than a street dashing warrior, the people at Arctic have given a full fairing outline a radical new significance. Dissimilar to most bikes, the ASA 250 was composed with an outer casing as opposed to an interior skeleton encompassed by the case. This made the bicycle light but the less intense motor. A similar idea can likewise be seen on the Monocasco single shell bodywork. It begins solid with the substantial fog light unit charging the whole nearness of the bicycle. Much the same as the Monica case, this monocasco has a remarkable single unit bodywork that demonstrates no edges and wraps all the inner components of the bicycle inside the lovely packaging. Uniquely designed aluminum wheels are wrapped around with fat elastic and get slick looking bumpers at the two closures. Two engines clubbed at the two centers control the wheels by means of batteries covered up under the bodywork. Not a lot can be said in regards to the braking and suspension setup, yet it is all there. The creators chose the paint job conspire on the convey kids to work day and had their children run bonkers with their sketchbook. Giving and Vogue differentiates, the principal fairing has a little separable unit with cowhide ties on the best that gets spray painting and plans of assorted types on a totally extraordinary shading. The custom handlebars get cowhide grasps and have a brushed aluminum bring with a straightforward yet exquisite side stand and pegs. This bicycle was likely made to simply toss your leg up the stand, snatch some espresso and sit on a seat just to gaze at it, and you'd be no less disillusioned. This electric bike is two-wheel craftsmanship. The number 8 decal speaks to Santiago's number on his GP bicycle, and the back wheel sees spades all around. For this, and this by itself, I wouldn't fret endeavoring to like the electric age of bikes. I concur this would most likely be the slightest agreeable bicycle, given that bit of ribbed and bended wood simply stuck there. Be that as it may, it is the most attractive one out there.